welcome to this session so in this session we will learn the concept of ph so this concept was actually given in the year 1909 so what is the concept so the concept is actually the nature of solutions uh, we know that it is acidic alkaline or neutral so this is represented in terms of the amount of hydrogen ion concentration and amount of hydroxyl ion concentration so this, they will only decide the acidic alkaline neutral concept. that we know that we are studying from the small class, smaller classes. But it is convenient to express this acidity or alkalinity of a solutions by a referring in this form that the concentration H plus. This is the only uh, idea. And uh, this concentration H plus ion, it can vary. This concentration can vary within a wide range of uh, 1 molarity to 10 per minus 14 molarity. So this is the wide range of concentration H plus. So to understand this concentration, so a logarithmic notation has been devised by Dennis Kelmish, known as Sorensen. So he first devised this uh, logarithmic, logarithmic as a notation to find the concentration H plus in 1909. This is the history. To just simply exp uh, express the, these quantities. And this notation is used as pH scale. He introduced this concept during his work on quality control or in the brewing of uh, beer, but now this concept has wide acceptance in the chemistry of solutions. Actually, pH uh, the term is derived from a pure wire hydrogen. So this is a term pure wire hydrogen whose meaning is potential of hydrogen. P has different meaning like a potential, it is in German it is called as a power. If you take a French, this is the French word. So in terms of French, it is called as a Puisian. In college, Pusian, and in terms of English, this is called as power. So, these are different type of meaning. And uh, capital H is written as a hydrogen and concentration. And this pH is useful comparing the concentration H plus of dilute solution, dilute aqua solution. Actually, it is dilute aqua solution in expressing the SD or basic nature of solution. So, we can define pH again. It is defined as the decimal logarithm of the reciprocal of hydrogen and activity. It is the decimal logarithm of reciprocal of the hydrogen ion activity. So, or we can write here AH plus. So, this is the hydrogen ion activity in a solution. So, in numerically, we can write like this pH is equal to minus log of AH plus. This is the hydrogen ion activity, or minus you can write this in reciprocal form. This becomes positive. And what is AH plus? So, this is the uh, activity coefficient into H plus. So this is the activity coefficient or what is H actually. This is the effective and concentration or we can say active mass of hydrogen plus. Or we can say this is also thermodynamic activity thermodynamic activity of H plus ion in solution. And H plus is concentration H plus and this is the activity coefficient. So in direct conditions this uh, activity coefficient is equal to H plus. So this becomes equal to total uh, concentration H plus. Activity coefficient will become total H plus. But if you take the higher concentration, this is less than 1. This will be less than 1. So in this case, the pH is defined by the minus uh, logarithm of H plus is not only theoretical significance, but in fact, it cannot be uh, read directly. So actually, in these cases, we cannot read like this thing. It is accepted in different form. So what, accepted, uh, what it is accepted in different form, that is the pH equal to minus log of A H plus. So this is the only accepted form of the pH. This is not the accepted form. So that is the what the pH meter reads is a measure of. So this pH meter actually reading this activity of hydrogen ion concentration. So this is actually measurement. That is pH of the 10 to the power square molarity of hydrogen HCl cannot be calculated until if you know the activity of the hydrogen is known. If you don't know this activity of coefficient of the hydrogen, that is the activity coefficient, of the, so you can calculate the H plus concentration of this type of equation, either acid or base. So for a higher concentration, it will give you different type of value significantly. Now one more doubt normally is to face that is it possible to have the negative pH. So mathematically there is no theoretical basis for this. For there is no theoretical way, but mathematically it is possible. A negative pH not only means that the concentration H plus will be greater than the one molarity. If it is greater than one molarity, then they will give you negative pH. But in actual practice, uh, this minus negative pH is uncommon because of two reasons. So what are the two reasons? 
one is as strong as it may become uh, por- uh, partially undissociated at high concentration so uh, the strong acids never dissociate fully so this becomes a weak acid like that so 100% h2so4 is so weakly dissociated that it can be stored in a iron container so this you may just note it down 100% h2so4 is so weakly dissociated acid that it can be stored in a iron container because they do not have a free h3o plus they are a strong acid have a large quantity of acid, but all H plus is not free. Some of the H plus will be free. And second is the activity of H plus. That is the effective uh, concentration of H plus is very less. So it is also difficult to measure the pH of a solutions having a negative pH. Why? Because the higher concentration of AC or bases tends to introduce an error in the measurements. In that concentration, there is an error in the measurement by adding a significant or unknown liquid junction potential. This is one other factor which is disturbing the measurement in H plus concentration for higher concentration. So this is also one cause. For dilute solution, pH is defined as the now we will consider only for the dilute solution not concentrated solution because in our syllabus we have to study only dilute solutions not concentrated solution so in terms of dilution how we can define ph so ph is defined as the negative logarithm the negative power of uh, negative power raised on 10 in order to express magnitude of concentration h plus so this is the con- uh, concentration h plus and this is equal to 10 to the power minus ph so this is the negative power raised on 10 this is the pH, negative power raised on 10. So, we, uh, if you uh, multiply by log, so on multiply log, you will get pH is equal to minus log of S plus concentration or pH equal to log of 1 by S plus. So, this becomes your negative logarithm of magnitude of S plus concentration. So, we can again redefine like this. So, what is the significance? So, significance is that uh, if you change the in this case, if you change the pH by 1 unit, it will show the change in S plus concentration by 10 units. Similarly, if you change the pH by 2 or 3 units, the concentration of S plus will be changed by 100 or 1000 times respectively. For example, suppose pH is equal to 3, so it is changing by 1 unit, like a, it becomes 3 to 4 or pH equal to 3. So if pH is 4, then concentration of S plus will be 10 to the power minus 1, means 10 times decreasing. Uh, yes, and in case of pH equal to 4, it becomes 10 to the power 1, means 10 times increasing. So this is there. And if his pH is 3, if it changes by 2 units, means it increases by pH 5 and decreases by pH 4. But concentration S plus will be decreased by 10 to the power minus 2. Okay, and concentration of pH 1, it is increased by 10 to the power 1. So this will be more acidic, this will be less acidic. Similarly, it also happens with uh, pH also. So again, by definition, we can write pOH is equal to minus logarithm of hydroxyl and concentration. So we can do in the same manner.